Hi, my name is uh, Jeff Geerling and I run lifeasaprayer.com. Uh, for the past couple of years I've been uh, making a lot of videos about uh, using external microphones and audio inputs with iPhones. I started out using an iPhone 3GS, uh, but the video quality wasn't that great. Upgraded to an iPhone 4 and got some HD, but it still was a little grainy. Uh, the sound was okay, but not great. There weren't many stereo inputs and things like that. And then when I got my 4S, uh, the uh, availability of audio options for the iPhone uh, were expanding quite a bit. And also the video quality at 1080p with the new sensor um, was pretty amazing. Uh, I, I've done most of my videos now with my iPhone instead of using a, an SLR simply because it's always with me. It's more convenient. It's easier to tote around with me. And uh, really most of the audio things that I use, like the microphone I'm using right now, can fit in a Ziploc bag that I can stick in my bag with me. Um, the iPhone 5 just came out today and uh, I'm recording this video on it and I wanted to show you some different microphones that I use with my iPhone um, and how well they work and how the, the levels work with the iPhone um, and also give you some advice throughout these little clips um, for how you want to use uh, different audio gear with your iPhone for making better video recordings. So sit back and relax and uh, listen to all the different uh, clips here. And also when you're finished, check out lifeasaprayer.com slash iPhone dash mics. Uh, that's where I have all the information compiled um, from pretty much three years of research on this and uh, lots of user feedback, lots of people talking to me about what, what works for them in studios and in uh, radio, podcasting, all that kind of stuff. So check that out and uh, let me know what you think. This recording is uh, being recorded just using the internal microphone on the iPhone 5. I'm about a foot away from the iPhone, so it can pick me up pretty well, but you can obviously hear a lot more background noise. And um, the further I get away from the phone, the more background noise is getting picked up. Uh, it's not a great solution for somebody who's further away from the iPhone, uh, but it works in a pinch, and it obviously you use it when you're doing more reportage and things where you don't have the ability to mic, mic everyone. This is a Shure PG48 handheld uh, dynamic XLR microphone, and I'm using it with a Vericorder XLR to iPhone cable. Uh, this cable costs between $30 to $50, depending on where you get it, and it includes a stereo headphone jack, uh, so you can also monitor what you're recording using apps like Fire. And this is being recorded through a Audio-Technica Pro 88W-T. It's a wireless uh, microphone system uh, with a lavalier, and it has a, a transmitter that you plug into your lavalier mic. This works with pretty much any eighth inch lavalier uh, and a receiver, which is right now plugged into the iPhone. A uh, cool thing about this guy is that um, it comes with a clip that you can put into a hot shoe. So if I'm using my Nikon D7000 or some other camera uh, and I want to put the receiver on it, I can mount it right to the top of the camera. Uh, but as you can hear, it sounds great. I'm using it with a uh, KV connection line level uh, eighth inch to the iPhone adapter. Uh, I think that costs about 20, 25 bucks. Um, and this wireless system uh, for the price is pretty good. Uh, you can spend a ton of money, sometimes up to a few thousand dollars on a single wireless microphone system. Um, but for most amateur videographers, or even if you're a pro and you need a microphone that you might want to um, use for something where it might get damaged, this is a pretty good option. It's only about 130 bucks. Um, you can find it a little more expensive, a little less expensive, depending on where you get it. Um, but uh, it's definitely pretty reliable within about 50 feet, and it works great with the iPhone. This is a recording with the Shure PG48 handheld dynamic XLR microphone. Uh, this time I have it plugged into a Tascam IXZ adapter. Uh, the IXZ is a pretty good adapter, um, kind of a jack of all trades. It has an XLR jack and a quarter inch jack um, and lets you select between mic or line level, guitar level. Um, so you can plug in mixers, you can plug in guitars, you can plug in amps, and you can plug in handheld microphones and uh, other microphones. It even includes a 48 volt phantom power uh, connection so that you can power a microphone like a condenser. The battery doesn't last a whole lot of time, but um, you know it's great for uh, being there for whatever need you have. You know you could record your guitar and then switch over to your microphone and record a, a voice track. Um, 
And it also works great for uh, just interviews and things like that because it has a selectable level adjustment um, that you can use, uh, whereas a lot of the other cables don't let you change the level. It's, it's you know, whatever the level is of that microphone, that's what you're getting in the iPhone. Um, so this is a pretty good product for a lot of different reasons. It even includes a, a stereo headphone jack on the back so you can monitor without having to unplug the Diaxi and plug in your headphones. This is a really cheap uh, Panasonic headset that's made for pretty much any kind of phone. Um, one advantage of using a headset when recording is that the microphone is right up by your mouth without you having to hold it. Uh, this would be good for doing podcasting or uh, interviews where you don't need to necessarily be on screen. Um, and it also provides pretty decent sound and a good level. It's definitely not nearly as good as a dedicated microphone uh, like you know a handheld mic or a lavalier. Um, but it, it passes and it does pretty well. Um, the other advantage is that usually you can get these things for five to ten bucks on Amazon and you can use it with a, a 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter adapter for uh, a headsets which is a tip ring ring sleeve adapter and those are only a few bucks on Amazon as well. Um, so if you wanted you could get a few of these things, put them together somehow and then get it into your iPhone and have a really good, uh, pretty good quality solution uh, especially for spaces that might be a little bit louder. This is the Audio-Technica ATR3350 uh, lavalier microphone. It's a pretty inexpensive but good quality solution. Um, I'm using it with a KV connection 8th inch um, mic level to iPhone adapter. And the audio level is a little bit low. Part of that's due to the adapter not being perfectly suited to the microphone. Um, but also you kind of have to speak up with this microphone, otherwise uh, you'll be drowned out a little bit by the, the background noise. So this microphone, uh, you need to post-process a little bit, bring up the level or use an app like Fire to increase the level while recording. Um, or you can find an, a different kind of cable solution or some other adapter to get the level up to the iPhone's desired level. All right, and this is my last test. I'm actually using a really, really cheap wireless microphone system. Uh, hopefully this is working. It's the Pile PDWM96. Uh, I would only recommend this system if you are going to take it into a place where you know it's going to be destroyed. Uh, this whole system costs maybe 15 or 20 bucks. Um, you can hear there's a lot of interference. Uh, it's actually interfering with my speakers on my computer, which are turned off. Uh, but have a little, ha they're connected, um, and it has, it, all it has is a built-in quarter-inch jack uh, for the output.